Oh. Hey guys, Bonnie here from Nerd Soul, and I just wanted to do a video on costuming for the Renaissance Fair since we're kind of right in the middle of that here in Arizona. So, in the past, I've done kind of the peasant, you know, long skirts, corset deal, and while that's really fun, the last few years I've been doing a belly dancing costume, and I've really been enjoying that. So, I just kind of want to do a brief video on how to put together a really fun, kind of nomadic, um, eclectic sort of costume um, that I think looks really professional and you can do for cheap, um, cheapish, and it is also just really fun uh, to add to something new each year. So what you want to start out with, and I actually bought this at the festival, so it was pricey, but you can definitely do alternatives that are not as expensive. Um, and these are costume belly dance pieces. And the idea with belly dancing costume for the Renaissance Fair is that it's kind of, I don't know, you have a lot of things hanging off of you and I think that's what really makes the costume. But if you were wearing something to actually belly dance in and performing, you probably wouldn't want as much stuff. So I have a lot of stuff. Um, from the fair, I you have your top piece. And this, these three parts together, I think were like $300. Um, so they're an investment, but they are phenomenally made. You could easily do this by yourself if you're confident with um, hand sewing, because this is basically just a normal push-up bra. Um, but we have lace, layers of lace that are just sewn on here really, really, really well. Um, these pieces are never going to come off of this. You have Ba a large and small um, metallic pieces sewn over this and you have your little pom-poms and then all of your noise making dangly bits um, as well. So this goes on but because you don't want to look like you're just walking around wearing a bra you also buy the little it's like a little bolero vest. Um, again this is pretty basic this wasn't the most expensive part um, but you could easily make this yourself if you were so inclined. And then the belt. Again, really simple if you wanted to try and make something like this because it's just triangle, triangular fabric with strips on it. Um, this part is velvet on this guy and it's backed with kind of a thicker uh, corduroy. And again, matches the top layers of lace Got our pom-poms, um, the little coins actually is what these guys are. They look like Turkish coins. Um, and then the large pieces like these guys and they're just sewn on. Every single one of these has stitching and then the top as well, but it's free floating there. So if you bought these online, you could definitely sew them on yourself. And then the big medallion in the very back. So those are kind of the most important part. And you can do skirts. Most commonly people do skirts with outfits like this, but I actually really enjoy doing pants. So the pants I'm doing this year, because I tried to make pants out of like a drapery fabric and it was terrible. But these guys, which are very flowy, um, they come from Bohemian Island. Bohemian Island, they're made in Thailand and they donate money to save um, dogs from being killed there and I believe on the website they're one size fits all but I feel like they run kind of on the small side so if you're bigger I don't know that they would work they kind of barely fit me and I'm not really that big but they have a fun pocket um, they're loose and flowy and it's gonna be super hot um, at the festival so that's nice they have elastic around the legs and then all of this ruched elastic at the top. So I think that's why they think they can get away with one size fits all, but it's really not too big. So those, that's your outfit part. Um, now what I think is the most fun is all of the accessories and you're probably like, Bonnie, you're wearing so much jewelry. Um, this is kind of what I like to wear for the costumes. Um, you have tons and tons of rings. So I never wear, midi rings in real life because they drive me crazy.
but for the sake of looking cool, I think they do look very bohemian and awesome, so I wear them for the costume. Um, the good thing about a belly dancing costume is that bohemian, you know, style is really popular right now, so you could find pieces at Walmart, Walmart, or Claire's, or Target, or anything like that, and those pieces will probably work for your jewelry and accessories. Another thing that is fun, and I actually, um, so pants first, and then before you put on the belly dancing belt, I think it's good to have a foundation of some sort of smaller belt off of which you can hang things, and then you can cover all of those connections with the belly dancing belt. So for me, that is this purse, and this purse is on a super long cord. So you put the cord around your waist, and you, that's the wrong side, you put the cord around your waist and then you just tie it to itself, so you can tie it at whatever length you want it to be. Um, so off of this I have hanging several things. I have a tail, because who doesn't love a good tail at the Renaissance Fair? Um, this bag, again, a couple dollars at one of the leatherworking stalls at the Renaissance Fair. Super, super soft leather. I love the color. Really easy to just throw money or your cell phone or whatever in there so that you can, you know, hide that you're not really from the Renaissance. The most important, well, not most important, but a very important part to any costume that you're going to wear at a Renaissance Fair, and I think often the most overlooked thing, is shoes. And I like playing a game where you see somebody, if they, if you think they have a really good outfit, seeing if their shoes go with their outfit, because a lot of times they're wearing sneakers or obviously really, you know, civilian sandals and you know, oh, that person doesn't actually work here. But if you want to be confused for somebody who works at the Renaissance Fair, which happens to me all the time, for this outfit, I just have a leather sandal. Super comfortable. Sometimes pebbles will get in your shoe between the cracks. Not a big deal. Super long laces. Um, and I just tie the laces around my ankles. You can tie them, like, do a cool crisscross pattern up your calf and then tie them behind your knee, but it always ends up falling and annoying me, so I don't do that. But not a huge deal. So, that is basic belly dancing outfit, how to put something together. Um, I love adding every year, trying to find something new. I don't have any sort of drinking horn or goblet or something hanging off my belt yet. Those are always really fun. Um, but yeah, basically. Anyway, I'm definitely going to be doing a video upcoming of kind of an overview at the Renaissance Fair on location. Um, also going to be doing a deconstruction of lightsabers that you can make at Disneyland, which is going to be really fun. And because April is coming up, that means theoretically the end of Homestuck is coming up. And I am probably going to try to do a video on, you know, hypotheses, what we think is going to happen at the ending, and then hopefully a video perhaps with a special guest on what we think once it has ended, hopefully it ends. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm Bonnie, this is Nerd Soul. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.